Well, as of yesterday, December the 29th, we actually had a fatal shooting that happened at about 8.30 p.m. on Treat and Iowa Street, that's right outside of Savannah Gardens, that led to the death of a 23-year-old by the name of Stefan Wright. Now, police officers respond to the scene at about 8.30 p.m. where they found Stefan Wright suffering from gunshot injuries where he was transported to Memorial Medical Center. Of course, that's where the hospital where all the gunshot victims go to where he later died at the hospital. And I did get pictures of the victim, of the homicide victim that lost his life yesterday. And I actually got this from a fellow subscriber by the name of DH. I ain't gonna say her whole name, but I had to shout her out just a little bit, even though she said for me not to. But I, did, I wouldn't even have a picture if it wasn't for this lady by the name of DH so shout out to her and uh, you know like I said it's, it's pretty sad you know a kid or not even a kid just I mean a, a young person didn't get the chance to go through uh, 2019 you know at all didn't get a chance to do anything else with his life but uh, you know rest in peace to the young brother any more information about this I'll let y'all know as well but what does this latest murder mean for the city of savannah well it means that we have a new chief of police by the name of roy mentor uh, he was actually sworn in december the 28th actually two days ago uh, during a ceremony at the civic center ballroom so basically you know this guy you know he ain't a rookie at this game you know he has 35 years of public safety experience and also he began working with the savannah police department on August the 27th of this year and served as a department director of police services until he could be officially sworn in so you know buddy he has some credentials uh, on his background I'm not gonna name them all so pretty much anything that happens as far as crime related or anything that has to do with policing I should say uh, this guy will get all of the blame so who knows what will happen in the near future as far as the 2019 crime, homicides, and everything else that falls with it. Because when you're a police chief, you're going to get all of the blame for the most part. You know, if you're a police chief, if you're a, any, pretty much, even if you're a police officer, you're going to get the blame. You're going to get the blame if you're a, the mayor, of course. Any type of government official that has superior ranking, you know, you're going to get blamed for any type of crime that leads to more and more crime and especially homicide so we'll see how long he will serve for the savannah police department and speaking of crime i'm gonna put savannah for dummies episode seven part seven pretty soon i try to do that the first week of january because i got to get all of my crime data for you know the year of 2018 and i'm glad i, I waited because of this homicide because of course that wouldn't have been in the video but you know I would just try to do Savannah for Dummies episodes or videos just once a year just to get you a overview of all the crime that happened in the year of 2018 and you know just every other year that happens in the city of Savannah. But as for me, I'm out of here man. I got a live stream I'm going to do probably in the, tomorrow before New Year's. I might just do it today so just stay tuned and stay blessed.